PowerPoint is about functions, and it's by Patrick, Tosh, Noel, and Alyssa. Functions. A function is a relation between a set of inputs and a set of outputs with the property that each input is related to exactly one output. Standards. In functions, we are learning how to define, evaluate, and compare functions, and also use functions to model relationships between quantities. Okay, this is our vocabulary and our definitions. We have a dependent variable, discrete data, domain, continuous data, an independent variable, linear equation, linear functions, nonlinear functions, quadratic functions, qu qualitative graphs, range, and relation. These are our definitions continued, and this is just a function table. Now we're going to move on to some examples. Well, for this first example, our numbers are all off, but it's fine. Okay, so... For this, you can put any number in the x column, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 3, 6, 9, 12, it doesn't matter. But 1 for this uh, problem, 1 would go first, and then 2, 3, 4 for the whole x column. And for the second one, you would plug in 1 for x for the first one, and 2 for x for the second one, because that's how we did it. And then it would be 7 plus 3 times 1. 7 plus 3. 7 plus 3 equals 10, and you know times 1 doesn't really do anything. But for the second problem, it's 7 plus 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 7, which is 13. And for the third problem, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 7, which is 16. For the fourth problem, it's 3 times 4 plus 7 equals 19. So we got a problem on the bottom for you to do. I don't really know if it's that easy, but you just plug in, you make, you plug in any number for x and make a chart. So we're gonna move the thing now for y'all to see the answers. It's probably our ratchet. Move it. Yeah, there you go. That's like horrible, but it's fine. Okay. For the second, for the third example, it says in a recent. 82 game season, Dwight Howard of the Orlando Magic averaged 20.7 points per game. His approximate total points scored, which would be the function PG, is a function of the number of games played, which is G. So identify the independent and dependent variables. You can go back and look at the definitions of the independent and dependent, dependent variables if you need to. So, an independent variable is the amount of games played, and the dependent variable is the total games played. If you remember the charts that we showed you in the last example, you can also set it up that way, which would be your dependent variable is x, and your independent variable is y. For your second question, what is the values of the domain and range that makes sense for this situation? So, you cannot have any negative points because this is a basketball game and your score increases the whole time when you score. So, what this means is that either way it goes, you're going to have points, but it'll never be negative. If, if, if you don't make a score, it will always be zero, but every time you score, your count goes up and set it down. Okay, so for our last example, you would plug in x, I mean, you would plug in 4 for x on everything. So, it would be fx equals 3x minus 1. So, f4 equals 3, 4 minus 1. And 3 times 4 is 12 minus 1. So, f4 would equal 11. For the last, for the second one, you will plug in 9 for x on each one. And so, it would be f times 9 equals x if equals 9 plus 13. So 9 plus 13 is 21. And for the third one, you would plug in a 7 for x on each one. And since uh, you would times, it would, since 5 times 7 is 35. And it would give you equals, yeah, it would give you f second is 7 equals 35.